Hey everybody, this is Steve at Thousand Year Home. Welcome aboard. So uh, here I'm building a, a house that I believe will last a thousand years. But looky, a one day build. Yesterday I didn't even have a house. Today, looky, I've got a really fancy house. So it's a, uh, you know, an eight foot by, uh, I'm gonna say seven foot by six foot high uh, playhouse for my grandson. And uh, it comes from a couple of boys who were playing with it pink. So, uh, you know, egalitarian here in Texas. Uh, I have no doubt that my daughter will paint this to match her property. But uh, I'll, I'll say a couple of things here about uh, this. All right, that's that Mahindra 1626. That is uh, 2,600 pounds. My trailer can pull 10,000 pounds. This thing... Uh, I'm gonna guess it's 2,000 pounds. I mean, I could pick up one end of it. I could not pick it up uh, with that. And that's a 2,000 pound rated fork truck. So it pulled me, I didn't pull it, but we, we got it on. Uh, um, and I didn't do any recording on that because it was somebody else's property. It was hugely busy. There were kids around, there were pedestrians around. It was very dangerous work. I'll say um, I'm a very handy man. And I think I was at the limits of what a do-it-yourselfer can do, moving this thing. So when you see those sheds on Facebook and whatnot that said, come get it, uh, you better have a plan that's a little more than this tractor, <laughs> which is a 26 horsepower, 3,000 pound uh, rated, and uh, toe straps. Uh, I drug it up. Uh, and I did get it up by dragging it up. Uh, in addition, uh, the neighbors came over and helped us and they, they just muscled the back around with uh, bars. Now, I don't know if uh, what's coming through the audio is the sound of a storm. So San Antonio got flooded and Houston got flooded and I've got this bad boy sitting on the end of my property. <laughs> and if I get flooded, I'll never get this back out. It'll be mine instead of my daughter's. So uh, anyway, I, I am leaving now in order to try to get it taken care of. So uh, listen, this is 2,000 pounds. That's uh, 2,600 pounds. When you tow something like this, see how it's behind the wheels? Uh, you've got to get it balanced. If that would have been off by 800 pounds, this uh, trailer would have fishtailed and been very, very, very dangerous. But it, it's balanced perfect. The wheels, you'll see they're not too bad. My truck's not squatting. Uh, you know, and it's rated for this this large. So, uh, but this, this should have been a professional job, in my humble opinion. Uh, it, it was in Houston, so it took us a two and a half hour drive there. There were some accidents on the road, of course, because Houston does that. Uh, so three hours, a little over three. We spent uh, about an hour and a half loading that up. And it was an ideal backyard to do this. Listen, the, the gate was wide enough. Uh, there was a little overhang of a garage and we just squeezed underneath there. Uh, the neighbors did come over. I had three other men helping. Plus my tractor and my daughter will work. She she's strong, everybody. She's as strong as two men, and uh, so she jumped in. So I'm heading over now. I'm going to add a furniture dolly to my uh, Akutamana stuff as well as a 12-ton floor jack because uh, as I come into her property, she's got a, a privacy gate, and I'm thinking I might need that floor jack underneath that back bumper jack it up and have her pull it with a truck so I can line in and get in. I need to get in before this storm comes because I don't want this sitting here. So uh, I, I don't know how much video there'll be. If the rain starts to fall in, it starts to fall in. But that's what I spent my yesterday doing and uh, one day build of a house. So I'll go ahead and get this going. Let me get these supplies in the truck. All right. Floor jack, check. Furniture dolly. Jack handle check. Alright, and this hand truck won't do anything other than move that floor jack around. Well, 
this was like uh, test number one. Would I fit through this gate? And uh, it, 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 it. I have that uh, drain that was uh, I was worried about. I fit through it though. I'm pretty happy. Right, let me get it straightened out. And I'll hit that and go around. If I can get the trailer pointing this way. Yeah, I agree. That's the easiest way for me to back up my trailer. Yeah, too. then I'll. I'll and I, can I don't think I can. I don't think I can split. All right, so we're brainstorming here. So this is a circle drive. So my idea is to come down the circle drive, take a big pass here. Why well, hey there, Wolfie? I don't think they'll be in my way. And then come around so that my trailer is ending up pointing towards the final destination, which is back there by the barn. Uh -huh. All right. Eat my lunch while I stare at this for a little bit. It's always good to eat a lunch and stare at things. But honestly, if I can go through this area where the trash cans are, then I'll be pointing right at where it needs to be dropped off. If I go here, I've got to drag it. I'm going to try to do this first. We'll see. Who's a zoomy? Who's a zoomy? Are you a zoomy? My hands are full. <laughs> that is your man. Listen, San Antonio streets are flooded like the river. It's, uh, it's like up to two foot up into their windows on their thing. So I think I'm going to try to jiggle through here. There it is. Oh, let me go inside. So if it gets too wet and I'm in position, uh, I'll just leave it like if I sink in yeah. so but yeah the, and then Houston got flooded too so we're right in the middle of a flood that I'm glad I started now yeah and I'm glad I fit through the gate so anyway I'm gonna go do that loopy okay cool so let me eat this real quick You know, this Texas mud is something. I, I don't know if it'll accommodate. I'm going to stay on the pavement for now and uh, see.
record any of that. All right, here's the deal. I failed, so Destiny is going to try to do it. Now, she's military. Were you a driver in the military? Yeah. She was uh, MRAPs, so she drove big stuff. I, I haven't done that. She says in one shot she'll get it. I think she'll scuff my truck right on that tree right there and I'll cry. But uh, I think we should try to get it up here at least. At least one time. Drop it one time. And then if not, I'll take you home. Right. And okay. we got $20 riding on it. Uh, let's shake again. $20 on it. And I'm going to stay back here and I'll just holler. Right. Marlo's staying with me. He doesn't want to get wet. See if that military training pays off. Pressure's on. You gotta be better than me. Oh, she's already, her attack vector's already better. The deal is, is the rain is so bad you can't really see. I'll holler at her before she hits that tree, but I don't think she's going to do it either. Maybe. Let me walk out there and at least give her a chance so she sees this tree. $20. I guess that military service pays off. Oh, she like a boss, baby girl. A little more. Let's put the actual, yeah, uh, foot and a half. Perfect. All right. So what, what, what I've decided with the rain, uh, we're not going to get it in her woods, um, you know. But, all right, so here's my thought. I've got that floor jack, right? Mm -hmm. So I thought I could pull this tailgate off, push this as far as it can go, and then you would put it on a floor jack, or if I could keep pushing it all the way up here. That's a good point. And then just drive off, and then my, I could take this home. Yes. But I owe you 20 bucks. You, you did, did it. it first time. Ah. It does have more swing than I was expecting. It's with it the did. trees and, yeah. you know, it wasn't raining as hard for you as for me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't you, while I, while I think about this to get this stuff, why don't you tell everybody in the camera uh, about you buying this thing? Uh, look, that guy. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, we'll see that my tractor tires are wet right now. I don't know if it'll grip. I'm going to put it in four, four wheel drive low. We're going to push that until it teeter totters. Maybe I could keep pushing it, but at a certain point, I feel like it'd be safer to not let it drop and break your windows. So at a certain point, I think we need blocks under it or something. Okay. But I did bring that. Um, I have four by four uh, posts. Yeah, I see blocks. these boards right here, right? No, I have four by four blocks. Oh, do you? Okay. Yeah, they're right here. I think that's a cutoff there. That feels like, uh, you know, if I could keep pushing, I'll push it all the way out and we'll put it on the block. And then, okay. you see what I mean? So uh, I'll push it as far as I can. So you can put that two four by four right here for now. I'll push it, assuming it even moves. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to chain to your garage or anything to try this thing. No. So if everything's too wet and it spins, you'll just take me home and I'll leave my truck here. Okay. And then when it dries off, we'll do it. No, maybe. So maybe, maybe it'll come right off, huh? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Come on. Or stack up those boards. All right. Oh, they're for your neck. All right. All right. Very good. We got it off without much. That tractor is a little monster. Man, you got a really good deal. Five hundred bucks on that. But you know, the average Joe cannot move this out. This really, it, I did. We needed the men that were there that day yeah, to put two by fours on it, move it around, and then you and I, we never admit defeat, you know. So, but uh, uh, you know, if that guy had been lazy, we wouldn't have been able to do this. He was just as hardworking as we were, and he motivated to get it out. His wife was already talking about redoing the yard. Yes, yes, she was. Ah, oh, this will, you know, uh, the kids will play in it for a couple of years, and then it'll make such. Oh, look at that! Oh, little barb door. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is that cool? Uh -huh. So cool. So I don't know if that water's from the window. You might need to caulk it a little bit. Yes. But other than that, we didn't damage it moving at all. It's wired already. Wow. I love the little bluff thing. Yeah, David's going Ventilation. Oh, look at the cat already. <laughs> Check look, it out. look at the cat. That's what Varro was smelling at, and then I told him to get on, and he, that's when he, he yelled uh, at me. He didn't like being told to get on. He, he did it like that. <laughs> oh, kitty, kitty. But yeah, we'll just paint it and oh, do just yeah. a little bit of fix up. Yeah, Not much. yeah, yeah. So the band of the hour is this little Mahendra punches way above its weight. I, you know, it was COVID when I bought this and all of the Kubotas were gone, all the John Deere were gone. This is the last thing that had a full package. I looked it up and it was a Japanese Mitsubishi diesel engine. What was that? The tree branch. Like I, on my truck? Yeah. Why would it pick my truck? I told you that's not the tree you need to worry about and you worry about that tree over there. <laughs> and that one hasn't dropped a single damn thing. I 
like this vehicle too. <laughs> it was this guy. Uh, uh, it don't look like a damage yet. Wow. All right. <laughs> but um, anyway, so I looked it up and um, it's all steel frame underneath it. And that's why I'm able to pick stuff up without cracking this in half. And I'll tell you, this thing, um, really, really pleased with this vehicle, this tractor. I would definitely buy it again. That's as big as you can go before they put the diesel emissions on it where it shuts off. So, um, man, that's really good. So if you needed a little lawn tractor here, I would recommend the Mahindra tinier one. Yeah. Uh, rather than uh, John Deere. I can fix everything on here. You've seen that, you know. Yeah, John Deere's gotten so it's, it's gotten and, complex enough yeah. where they, you know, and I hear what they're saying with all the diesel emissions. They don't want Joe Blow. So these things we damaged on the corner of his house when we turned that corner. Yeah. But that's not bad. You'll want to stick something underneath there yeah, to keep the water from hitting that and getting in. I'll do one more shingle. Yeah. Very, very pleased. Me too. Hi, kitty kitty. All right, this is Steve at Thousand Year Homes. I'm here today with my daughter. We got a, I can't believe we got this done. If it had not rained, we would have put it where it belongs. Yeah, we would have. Uh, but the where it belongs is in the woods. Yeah, right. And uh, already I stepped in a hole right there that swallowed me and I wasn't even a heavy truck. But uh, yeah, this, this will be nice, Destiny. Yeah. You put it right here, you know, and that's yeah. nice enough. You might want to put it in a backyard for a few years. Hey, I'll look at your saw. That's going to ruin that. Oh yes, and um, clean all this up. This is from the old. This is from the old shed that I tore down. The old shed that you yeah. tore down. Yeah. Wow. All right. So a house in a day. All right. Like, subscribe, follow us along. Bye. I still like the location.